we're back for a new comparison between two 3D model generation tools. This time, we'll compare Rodan, a commercial tool, with Trellis, a free tool. I'll use the same source images as in my other video so you can compare the different tools. I'll import the generated assets into Unreal Engine and place them side by side for a direct comparison. If you enjoy these comparisons, give a thumbs up and subscribe to not miss the next ones. Let's head to the website huggingface.co, which provides a web interface for Trellis. This interface makes it easy to generate 3D assets, perfect for testing. The advantage of Trellis is that it can be installed locally and allows you to generate as many 3D assets as you want for free. There are a few generation parameters that I'll leave at default. For this comparison, I'm using an image of a medieval throne, generated with the AI image generation tool Flux AI. This image tests both the 3D model rendering and texture quality. There are also some extraction parameters, as shown in the video. You can choose to extract in GLB or Gaussian format. We'll use GLB for Unreal Engine. The interface is very user-friendly, and as usual, you just drag and drop the source image, then click Generate. The generation is very fast. Next, click Extract GLB. Extraction is slightly slower, taking about 30 seconds. The interface allows you to preview the result. Clicking Download GLB retrieves the GLB file. With Rodan, just like Trellis, it's super simple, drag and drop the image, then click Generate. Generation takes a bit of time, always under 30 seconds in my tests. A window then opens with the generated 3D model, which you can view from different angles. You can select options to influence the 3D model, detailed, symmetric, edges or smooth, simple or complex, game ready, etc. Click redo if you're not satisfied or confirm. Once the 3D model is confirmed, you can tweak the material by adjusting PBR parameters and reference strength. Let's generate the material. The textured 3D model is viewable from all angles in the preview window. Like the model, you can regenerate the material if unsatisfied or confirm it. Then, you get options for geometry and material quality, as well as the file format for download. For Unreal Engine, I choose the FBX format. Let's integrate the downloaded files into Unreal Engine. Start with Trellis's GLB file. Leave the import settings at default. The default GLB material derives from Unreal Engine's default material and doesn't render well. Let's create a new material. Add a texture sample with the single texture generated by Trellis. Assign the newly created material to the mesh. Then drag and drop the mesh into the level, adjusting position and scale. Now for Rodan. Just click Import All. Rodan generates five textures but no material. So, create a material and move the textures into it. Connect the textures as needed. The PBR texture isn't used in the material. Assign the material to the mesh. Then, place the mesh in the level. I adjust the scale to match the world size. Here's the result of the mesh generated with Rodan. Let's compare the two generated meshes. I'll show the source image again so you can form your own opinion. I find that Trellis's mesh is closer to the original than Rodan's. What do you think? Share in the comments.
Light reflection is better on Rodan thanks to its multiple textures. We'll see that for a more demanding image, Trellis shows its limits. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. Here's the source image for the second throne. This throne is more detailed, with a sculpted backrest, legs, and complex textures. Here's the side-by-side -side result after importing into UE. This time, Rodan's result seems much better. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments. Once again, we notice that the light reflections are better on the 3D model generated by Rodan. I've optimized the generated 3D models, specifically the mesh for Trellis and the material for Rodan. The result is much better for both, what do you think? In a future video, I'll show you how to optimize using UE or Blender. You're currently seeing the optimized models side by side. What's your opinion? Join our growing community by subscribing, give a thumbs up to boost the channel's visibility, and help me create more content. I hope this tutorial introduced you to Trellis, which is less known than Rodan and has the advantage of being completely free. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.